put that on. Struggle though. Once you pull that on, like this. Put that on. Break it. Pull that down. Break it. Break it. Pull that down. Break it. The light is turned off. And that's real talk. <laughs> What's good, Real Talk TV? It's your girl, Briz, and we are back at it again on the channel. It is your first time stopping to the channel. Welcome. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy financial content that may be valuable to you. So without further ado, y'all, let's just get into the video. Okay, you guys, now in today's video, I wanted to share some important information that may be valuable to some people that's facing along the same situation as me because i'm a victim as well i wanted to share with you guys the kia and hyundai theft uh settlement that's going to be taking place hopefully sometime mid-july and so the kia and hyundai theft settlement is basically about the the kia boys basically placing a tiktok challenge on tiktok and it just spiraled um over the years so it happened last year and it spiraled up until now and basically it's a tiktok challenge that's a, a usb charging cord and you just basically hot wire people cars without the key so they're taking this usb cord and they putting in the ignition and they being able to just joyride in people car without the actual key. So Kia and Hyundai, they basically didn't place anti-theft softwares into the vehicles. And now it's it's a whole class uh, lawsuit that's going on. And now we are facing at the moment. So if you are a Kia or a Hyundai owner of a vehicle, you will be eligible for some type of compensation and the vehicles a uh, year that they're looking at is the 2011 through 2022 so pretty much all the vehicles if you you know was to think about it and yeah with this settlement some things to consider is that it also provides various benefits and ways in which can also provide for the owners of the Kia and Hyundai all right now if your vehicle is marked as a total loss and it's it's no coming back for it you looking at least six thousand hundred and seventy five dollars versus if your car was just stolen and you had major damages to it and as well um through your police report it was some property damages as well you looking at at least three thousand three hundred and seventy five dollars not to mention this settlement will also be covering insurance related expenses so this in regards to ride shares taxi costs and rentals and things along those lines and the settlement will also be covering reimbursement for towing and other fees and you know expenses only if your car was stolen or marked as a total loss though so right now with the class action lawsuit that's going on they are in the final stage of the settlement being preliminarily approved by the court and which it has not been done so but like about mid-july we should have a final status um on whether or not it, it has been approved or not which is it shouldn't be no reason why it shouldn't be and once that has happened everyone can submit a claim so i've been you know keeping contact with the attorneys that's in charge of the class action lawsuit and they haven't you know got to say so yet but once that out the way you know the court approves it you know everybody will be able to submit a claim once they open up a website for it and if you want to to keep aware of what's going on uh, with the class action lawsuit I will drop the website down below in the description 
but yeah i just wanted to share that information with y'all because i know i'm not the only one that's facing this situation it's worldwide and you know rather it's you know a blessing in disguise with this compensation or not you know people hard earned money is being you know tarnished vandalized and all types of ways due to you know these young individuals and in people car and just joy riding up and down the street like you know their parents ain't taught them anything so it just it's just an eye opener like you know y'all giant auto makers like y'all really taking people money and y'all then putting on anti-theft software into these vehicles like that that really made people think when they purchase a vehicle like you know how can y'all get away with this type of this type of you know situation that y'all just missed and just didn't think that it was important like wow but i ain't come on here to preach to y'all you know i just wanted to share some valuable information because i know i'm not the only one that's going through you know this type of dilemma at the moment and yeah if you found some value in this video today do me a favor and hit that like button i really appreciate it it helps our youtube algorithm and other new subscribers to find in our channel and if you have any questions go ahead and drop it in the comments below you know i'll try to answer them as soon as possible but as always i appreciate y'all for tuning in on the channel but until next time i'll see y'all later